take a look at this. The New South Wales branch of the SSAA took out a half-page ad in the Land newspaper this week congratulating Police Minister Troy Grant. They were thanking him for changing the status of the Adler A110 lever action shotgun. We all know that he fronted the COAG with a plan to move the five-shot Adler lever action shotgun from Category A to Category B. But there is no basis for any change in category at all. The New South Wales branch of the SSAA is congratulating the Minister for reclassifying the Adler A110 lever action shotgun when there is no basis for it. Are they for real? Whose side are they on? I'm sure that this was not done in consultation with the association's membership. My upper house colleague Robert Brown and I have been told by our sources in other states that what really transpired at COAG was far different. We've been told that Troy Grant actually asked every state to hold off reclassifying the Adler A110 until after the Orange by-election on November 12. After the by-election, he's fearing losing, we've been told the National Party leader would then roll over and stop fighting for the Adler A110 and do whatever the Liberal Party wanted. I fear that we're staring down the barrel of a reclassification of all Adler A110 lever action shotguns to Category D. These category changes don't just impact farmers across the state looking at buying an Adler A110, but every single licensed shooter with a lever action shotgun or rifle will be affected. The SSAA is a fine organisation and does a lot of good work across the country. But the New South Wales branch got this one wrong. All law-abiding firearms owners need to be united against these knee-jerk category changes of legal firearms when there is no basis for them. If we don't stand together against the arguments of Gun Control Australia's Samantha Lee or the Greens, we risk completely losing the freedoms we enjoy. Instead, we have the New South Wales branch of the SSAA siding with the arguments of Gun Control Australia and the Greens. We want the Adler A110 where it belongs, in Category A. It's not new technology and it's definitely not a threat to anybody in the hands of a licensed shooter deemed fit and a proper person by the government. Sign up now and join my campaign to keep the Adler A110 in Category A. Make your voice heard. Authorised by Robert Borzak, Castle Hill, New South Wales.